Yeah, that's so weird. Hi, internet people. Today is the first day I'm finally going to do something with my new car, my 1983 Audi UR Coupe Quattro. If you're new and you want to get caught up on this vehicle, up above is a link to the first video where I unveiled it. I drove this car home last night for the first time and words cannot describe how happy this thing makes me driving it. So glad I bought this car. Now it's time to show it some love. There's a wild Christian making some putty over there. What are you doing? On the GTO. I, I'm gonna call this a skim. It's not a skim. It's gonna look like that. It does not define as a skim. Christian's doing some paint things on a hood to a 64 GTO. So. You, he's concentrating. Since I didn't have really anything for detailing, all the stuff I had is expired or used up, I, uh, I bought my first thing. And it's a water softener for camping. The portable softener I had before exploded. Literally, it exploded. Plastic shards went everywhere and it made a huge mess. All the seeds escaped. So I bought this one and um, we'll see how well it works. Oh yeah, forgot about this. Slate problem. That's the plug to my pressure washer. Uh, good thing I got this thing. And success. I'm not focusing too much on the wheels because I do plan on putting this on the lift and taking all the wheels and tires off and I'll clean the backs of them at that point in time. But as you can see, these wheels are not in perfect condition. There's just little pitting on it. it. looks like they've been refinished at one point in time. You can see the champagne finish right here on the spokes is actually flaked off a little bit. And also the spokes, the finish is very thin in these areas, which is making me question whether these originally were white. And then if someone refinished the spokes, champagne and machine the face, which I believe these Ronal R8s actually did come in that color scheme, champagne of the machine face. I absolutely am going to pick this car apart in this video, even though it is my own car and I paid a lot of money for it. I don't care, That's it's a 38 year old car and I bought it with the intent of fixing it up, but I'm starting at a good level, not a pile of parts like I usually do. I'm sorry, Mr. Dose. That was not a dig at you. I should watch what I say. I'm a grown ass woman that talks to her cars. I gotta take my license plate off. It's made out of paper. The real one hasn't come in the mail yet. So far, this little portable camping water softener is doing a good job. I'm only using one bucket because I haven't polished the car yet. That's just silly. There's imperfections all throughout the paint, just like on the front fender when I showed you the first video when I first got this car. And there's little chips here and there that I'm gonna have to address and take care of. I don't wanna repaint the car because it is the original paint, so. All over the car, there's areas like this on the back bumper where it's just a buildup of dirt that's kind of embedded into the paint. Hopefully clay barring should get rid of that. There's also spots like this you can see there's like a white residue on this black plastic and that also I think is because this is a single stage paint. So whoever had the car before and went and buffed it, some of that white bled down and just kind of stained on the plastic. And you can especially see it right here along the rubber weather shipping along with my hair. That's, that's kind of embarrassing. My hairs get everywhere. Now I can't pick it up. 
It's like spaghetti that you don't want to eat. I gotta give a shout out to that little camping water softener because it did a phenomenal job and the thing is literally half of the price of some of the main detailing companies portable water softeners. So, win. Not sponsored, FYI. Uh, if I can find the link of where I bought it from, I think it was like on Amazon, I'll put it in the video description. I don't always change my clothes in the middle of a YouTube video, but when I do, it's probably because it's the next day. <laughs> so let's get back to work. So I know some of you are gonna say, why didn't you just do this part while you were washing the car? And to answer your question, two reasons. One, because it's super dry here in Tucson, so everything dries on the car twice as fast, and also because I'm filming it, so I'm constantly setting up and moving around cameras while I'm doing things. So it just makes more sense to do the clay barring once the car is inside the garage. Please keep in mind while you are watching this, I am not a detailing channel, nor is this a detailing tutorial. So if my techniques or products that are being used are not to your satisfaction, I encourage you to take the time out of your day to go alphabetize your sock drawer. That should solve the issue. I'm gonna take this little vent off. That way I can clay bar around the edges. I desperately wanna paint these also, but I'll do that at a later date. You know, honestly, I don't even know what the hell this vent is for. I know it is functional though. Just, it's weird because it's front engine. Take you out. Yeah, that's so weird. So this is all hollow up inside here. I don't have to research that. And yes, I'm using a mechanic napkin to clean. <laughs> These things come in handy, I'll tell you that. Ew, that's like poop. That's what was inside there. I'll lift that up gently, I don't wanna break it. And now for a brief lesson in what the hell is clay barring. This is a chunk of clay for clay barring paint. That's actually really dirty. This is quick detailer's wax. You spray it on the paint, then you take a piece of clay, which should be clean, and to make it clean if it is not clean, you simply take it and fold the dirt inward. Then you take the clay and you rub it back and forth in a crotch face pattern, like so. And as you're doing that, you'll hear little granulars of contaminants getting picked up by the sticky clay. Once that happens, you then fold the contaminants into the clay so you don't mar or scratch your paint, and you keep going, generously adding new lube whenever you need so. And you keep going, and it will remove all kinds of crud. Once you're done, you take a clean microfiber that's actually clean, and you wipe your clay lube off. Is it weird that I kind of like single stage paint? I mean, it's an interesting concept to not have a clear, just have all one thing. You'd think it'd be easier to match and blend and do repairs later if you didn't have to worry about a clear coat. See all this like dingy residue right here? That's what I'm getting rid of. Ta -da. This is really challenging trying to get all this schmutt. There's a mosquito along the weather stripping. I'm struggling with the clay bar to put enough pressure down in these areas to get the schmutt out of there. It's getting it, but it's just taking so much elbow grease. Now that's a clean jam right there. I'm half tempted to take this door off just so I can get that yellow goo out of the inside of the front of the fender. I think that's that anti-corrosion goo, the wax coating. Yep, that sounds gross. This is so satisfying, clay barring around these letters. I'm actually clay barring the letters because there's all kinds of wax residue and looks like just the white chalky stuff because it's single stage from 
whoever buffed this car last is just stuck inside all the letters. I let my OCD get the best of me and I decided I was gonna take off the taillights and clean the back side. These Francani taillights actually have a layer of butyl sealant on the back side between the car and the taillight so a no moisture gets in there. So I don't wanna break the butyl sealant because I don't have any butyl and I also don't wanna risk breaking these taillights because they're pretty much unobtainium. It'd be really hard to get a new set of those. I did find this kind of interesting though, this old school circuit card and it has blue bulbs. I guess it has something to do with this being a gray housing taillight with the little red cups in there that go around the bulb. This car is absolutely mint though. Like this is all foam and it's not torn or ripped or nasty in any sort of way. It looks like a new car still. And what's even more interesting is behind this carpet over there is the fuel tank because that's what they did in the 80s. It's okay though. Maybe I'll replace it with a fuel cell. No, I'm gonna keep this thing stock. Wait a minute. That's, that's what this is for. This is a vent because the fuel tank is in the trunk. It vents the vapors out of gasoline so they don't end up in the car. <gasps> oh, I figured it out. I'm so tired right now. I've been up since like four o'clock this morning and I flew back from Los Angeles around lunchtime today and I went straight to work trying to knock out the rest of this clay barring. So I'll show you what I got done. Aside from the front bumper beam, I have the entire car clay barred out. And I had to start calling it quits with the clay bar in some areas because I was trying to use it to remove stains from the paint, which is not really the purpose of the clay bar. It's to remove little contaminants that work their way down into the paint, like little crusties and stuff, which that is now all taken care of. However, what I have a lot of all over the place is just dingy stains, especially all along where the molding is. You can see I got it all off right here and that's because I actually just used a little bit of some cut compound on a microfiber and just polished it out. So it all does come off, but clay barring this car taught me one thing and that is single stage white paint is as tough as diamonds. And the stuff technically has titanium in the paint, titanium dioxide, I believe. So it's super, super tough paint. A clay bar is the wrong tool for removing that and it's super time consuming. I spent like 45 minutes on that corner of that window. So what I need to do is get a nice small polisher and polish around the windows because it comes up pretty easy when you use some cut compound. So the next video I will do is most likely polishing out this paint and possibly a couple little wet sanding spots here and there. I have no products whatsoever. I used the last of my clay bar solution just to make this video. So if you guys have any favorite products, let me know down in the comments section below. Especially if you have any recommendations for single stage paint, which this is, and on top of that, white single stage paint which this stuff is this is the hardest car i've ever had to detail it is just so resilient to polishing which is a good thing that means the paint's super strong but this is gonna be a tough little mini series detailing this thing and getting it up to my standards anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh i'll see you soon with another bye